Hey, I just uh, want to start off by saying thank you to everybody. You know, I, I didn't think that video would perform the way it did. Like, I didn't think I'd get a thousand views on there. And then your guys' comments were just amazing. And just thank you for all the support, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, I can keep this up and actually give you guys some advice that actually helps. Or maybe just watching this is enough. I don't know. A little, a little, little side note. While trying to upload this video, I actually stubbed my toe very bad. I hit it so hard on a corner of a wall and I was cursing but I covered my mouth because my mom was there and I was just screaming curse words and obscenities into my hand. My mom stood there staring at me and laughing. Later on I actually looked down at my sock and uh it was bloody. I didn't realize how hard I actually hit it but it's all fine. We're all good now. I was debating on showing a picture but I don't think YouTube really likes that. So anyways getting that all out of the way. Friendship is something I take very seriously especially with my group of friends that I've been hanging out with since high school and a lot of them I've known since about second grade. If you've seen any of my past videos you probably heard their voices. I remember seeing a trend on YouTube called I have no friends or something like that and I actually watched a really good video breaking it down by ACTA. I, I, is it ACTA? Act, ACTA? Anyway, so I, I highly recommend giving that a watch. They break it down a lot more than I can. But in that video, they actually say something that kind of stood out to me was the fact that social media is actually anti-social. Why go out and meet people when you can connect to potentially thousands? This might be a bit meta since I just upload videos that have people watch them, but I think that's a positive part of the internet. The fact that you can connect to people regardless of distance and create a community of positive change is actually one of my goals. But to create a lasting friendship, you need to put in effort to obtain a friend and maintain a friendship. Is obtain the right word? Now I just want to get into how I've made friends throughout the years. So although I have my friends I've stuck very close to all these years, I also have made new friends in college and obviously throughout high school. So basically, the best advice I have for you is just to get out there. You need to be where people are. You can't be that loner at the lunch table all alone for your entire life, man. I know people think they might annoy someone, well, guess what, that's what I think all the time, to this day, but I talk to people anyway. Look at me right now, look what I'm doing. There are so many people in this world, I doubt you can annoy them all. If you don't know how to approach people, well, put yourself in a situation where they have to converse with you. Just make observations and those alone could be conversation starters. Whether that be through sports or even having the courage to walk up to the other lunch table and ask if you can sit with them. Newsflash, that's what I did. I also met a lot of good friends through sports as well, but the friends I became closest with were the ones I talked to at lunch every day. Those are the friends that I still hang out with in person and talk to almost every other day. Now I get having online friends that might play games with you, but to be honest, I don't really talk to those people anymore. The best relationships I have are with the friends I met in person. Friendship is a two-way street. If you make all the time in the world for them, but they can't do the same for you or at least negotiate a balance, then you should be expanding your search for other friends. Not to say you should abandon them altogether. So I guess what I'm trying to say, putting it all a little summary is you need to expose yourself in front of people if you want to meet more people. Again, look at me. <laughs> look at me! Be the friend you want to have and be the friend you need right now. Be that friend to somebody and I guarantee you they'll they'll be the friend you need. So anyways, that's just a little, <laughs> just a little more advice I have for you guys today. Uh, like always, you can always leave in the comments if you guys want me to talk about anything next week and I'll be sure to cover it as best I can. If if I can cover it. I can't cover everything. I don't know everything. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and just thank you for all the support. Like, it, it just, it means the world to me. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.